dear learners, in this session we are going to study the discrete stages of gametogenesis in mammalian testes and ovary, the formation of male gametes, sperms and female gametes ova takes place in the male and female organisms in their respective gonads that is testes and ovary. The gametes are haploid and are formed through the process of gametogenesis which involves meiotic cell division. The gametogenic development in testes is called spermatogenesis while that in ovary is termed as oogenesis. The stages of the gametogenesis can be examined in the transverse section of mammalian testes and ovary. For this session, we require compound microscope, permanent slides and images of transverse sections of mammalian testes and ovary. Let us first adjust eyepiece and objective lens of compound microscope and then arrange the permanent slides of transverse section of testes and ovary. Now place the slide of TS of mammalian testes first under the low power of microscope and then under higher magnification to understand the various stages of gamete development. After recording the features of both the slides, let us observe TS of testes first. The transfer section of testes will show a large number of seminiferous tubules under the low magnification. When we focus the slide under high magnification, a complete tubule can be observed. In each tubule, we can see various stages of gamete development from periphery towards the lumen. These are germinal epithelium, spermatogonical cells, primary spermatocytes, secondary spermatocytes, spermatids and spermatozoa. The space between tubules is filled with blood vessels and specific cell types called lytic cell or interstitial cells. The lytic cells produce male hormone testosterone which regulates the process of spermatogenesis and maintain male characteristics. Now let us observe TS of the ovary. In the section of ovary, there is a mass of tissue lined with germinal epithelium. Inside that, we will observe an ovum which is a cell surrounded by one to several layers of follicular cells. As the ovum matures, the number of surrounding follicular cell layers increases. In the later stages of follicular development, a cavity called antrum appears. The cavity gets further enlarged and the follicle grows bigger. This is the stage of graphene follicle ready to release the ovum. This is nothing but the ovulation. In the next stage, we may notice a corpus luteum and corpus albicans which differs from each other and also from graphene follicle in their features. Corpus luteum is the hormone secreting body formed immediately after ovulation from the open follicle while corpus albicans is the wide degenerated fibrous body. Now let us put on our thinking cap to see what we have understood so far. Gametogenesis is a biological process by which precursor gametic cells undergo cell division and differentiation to form mature haploid gametes. Spermatogenesis is a continuous process after attainment of puberty and thus all the stages leading to development of spermatozoa can be observed in a single seminiferous tubule. Oogenesis, however, starts in a fetal ovary and only follicular development stages are observed in the transfer section of ovary. Now let us answer some of the questions. What would happen if meiosis fails to occur in gametocyte? At which stage of follicular development is ovum released? 
On successful completion of this session, we will be able to differentiate the phenomena and process based on certain characteristics and salient features such as the experiments show two different phenomena, spermatogenesis and oogenesis. Applies scientific terminology for organisms, terminologies like spermatogenesis, oogenesis, spermatogonia, graphene follicles are used in this session. It explains processes of spermatogenesis and oogenesis, makes label diagram of spermatogenesis and oogenesis, demonstrates skills for handling microscope by observing slides under it, communicates the finding while sharing their observation, communicates the findings and conclusion in standard scientific language. The results of exercise are in standard scientific language that can be communicated to others. Thank you.